Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, I'm going to give you a full video walk around of our 2010 BMW X3. It is an X-Drive 2 litre diesel with the M-Series package on there as well. As you can see with the M-Series, it does have the more aggressive styling with the body kit. It does look very nice in the front bar with the integrated fog lights down low as well as your colour-coded four-point front sensors as well. All across the front is in excellent condition with no major stone chips. All across the bonnet is the same, very, very well kept. Having a look down the driver's side, you'll see it's got those nice large side skirts. Has the clear side indicators. All the badges are in place where they should be. It's also got the M-Series alloy wheels with very good Dunlop SP Sport tyres. Excellent tread left on those. And alloy wheel there in excellent condition. Moving down the side, you'll also see you've got tinted windows fitted to the car already. And again, both those doors in immaculate condition. Rear quarter with no marks. Rear alloy wheel down here. Again, no marks on there and excellent tread on that Dunlop tyre as well. Moving into the back of the X3, you really see the unique BMW styling. Again, with that large rear bar, four-point colour-coded reverse sensors. It's got the rear spoiler at the top of the hatch there and also the BMW shark fin style aerial on the roof. Moving through to the passenger side, much the same as what you have already seen on the driver's side. No major dents or scratches in the panels. Been really, really well kept. This is the alloy wheel that generally cops most of the gutter rash. It does have a slight mark just on one edge there. Other than that, the rest of it's in excellent condition. Again, tinted windows, you can see the contrast against that really nice white paint. Everything's very, very well kept all the way through. Every panel's in immaculate condition. Front alloy wheel there, again, matching Dunlop tyres all round. And you've also got registration paid through until February of 2014. Moving under the bonnet of the X3 now, the latch is very easy to find directly underneath the BMW badge. You'll also see you only need to lift it a very small amount these twin gas struts on the hinges there take it up the rest of the way. Under here you're going to find BMW's very strong, very well built 2 litre 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine. Puts out an impressive 130 kilowatts of power. But what's more impressive is the fact that it has 350 newton metres of torque, meaning it is a very quick car to get up and moving. Not compromising the fuel economy, being turbo diesel, it still only runs at 6.7 litres per 100 kilometres, making this a very, very economical SUV style BMW to own and run. Moving into the back of the BMW now, the first thing you'll notice is the soft touch handle is directly underneath the BMW badge. And again, much like the bonnet, twin gas struts make it very lightweight and easy to open. You'll also notice in here you've got the factory cargo blind. Very good for privacy if you've got anything at all in the back. Very easy to use as well. Simply retracts back into its own cover there. And as part of the cover, you've also got a factory BMW cargo barrier there as well. Great for if you might have a pet you want to keep in the back of the car or extra luggage which is stacked up nice and high. In the back here you'll see it's been very, very well looked after. No major wear and tear. Carpets are all in excellent condition. Good amount of storage down in here. Underneath, you'll also see the battery's been relocated to the back here, making the engine bay very clean and optimising the space in there, making servicing a lot easier and therefore a bit cheaper on the labour as well. All the factory compartments are there, all the tools. Spare wheel is located underneath here, under the rear bar. And you've also got the three anchor points there for the child seats as well and a good amount of space in the back of the X3 there too. Sitting inside the BMW, I've got the car running now so that we can show you all the internal features this car has to offer. Starting on the driver's door panel, you'll notice that it's all leather wrapped over here with the nice black marble finish on the handles. Got full electrics to all four windows, which are all automatic up and down. And you've also got the window lock to stop the kids in the back from playing with them. You've got electric mirrors left and right. On the dash here behind the steering wheel, you've got your front and rear fog lights, automatic headlights and parker controls, slight headlight adjustment here, and you've also got the illumination for the dash gauges as well. Having the M package on there, you've also got the M-series steering wheel, 
badge down the bottom. It's fully leather wrapped with nice contours up here making a very comfortable thick steering wheel to hold on to while you're driving. You've got factory cruise control on the right hand side and stereo controls here on the left hand side. Wiper controls are here on the right hand stalk and indicators and headlights are controlled over here. The button on the end is for your trip computer which also shows you your time, outside temperature, average fuel consumption and again trip computers average k's per hour. The car is sitting at just under 90,000 kilometres and as you can see by those gauges really easy to read speedo on the left and the rev tacker on the right fuel gauges just down the bottom on the right hand side with the temperature gauge as well. Moving through to the middle you'll see that the whole console and dash area has been really well kept no major scratches or marks. Up in the dash there you'll see you've got a decent amount of storage space Hazard lights and central locking, got the BMW business CD player and you've also got the full climate control air conditioning in the middle there. Really easy to use, you've got your direction of air, temperature, automatic climate control, the fan speed and over this side you've got your front and rear windscreen demisters as well as your air conditioning. Moving under the climate control you've got your buttons down here. The DTC is the dynamic traction control which also integrates your stability control. Very, very good safety systems which keep the car safely on the road and control any loss of traction there as well. You've also got your downhill assist control. This can be activated at any speed under 35 kilometres an hour and it will automatically bring the car back to a pace of around about 8 kilometres an hour which makes it very safe for travelling down very steep descents. You've also got your park assist which can be turned off for the front and the rear and you've also got this symbol here which will turn on and emit a sound if there is a sudden loss of tyre pressure it'll let you know that you've either got a flat or the tyre is going down. In under here you've got your power outlet also got the factory cigarette lighter but as you can see it's never been used, never been smoked in. Small storage compartment there Automatic transmission does have the Tiptronic mode off to the side and again really really smooth gear changes, great gear ratios which again combine to make that fuel economy very very good on the diesel. Got a cup holder in the centre, you've also got a very good size centre console. Moving across to the rest of the dash here, as you can see again broken up nicely with that black marble finish. Glove box is all in excellent condition, passenger door card, as you can see full leather wrapped on the door there as well. Has got the full black leather interior, the seats are very very comfortable with good bolsters on the side and also the back part of the seat here. You'll also see the way that the BMW set up their seat, they are adjustable in the front so if you do have longer legs you can actually pull that forward a small amount making it much more comfortable for the legs as well. All the carpets are in excellent condition, got a small cargo net down the side here making it great for anything that you might need to be able to reach. Moving into the back, the car has been really really well looked after, all the carpets are in excellent condition. In behind the centre console there you'll see you've also got another power outlet and also an auxiliary input. And again, the rear seats barely look like they've been used car is definitely a credit to the previous owner with how well they've kept it and in terms of safety again you've got all the traction and stability controls anti-lock brakes but you've got airbags pretty much the whole way around the entire car one in the steering wheel passenger side dash you've got one in each of the doors as you can see on the door card here and you've also got curtain airbags which run right through the front all the way up into the back of the car for the second row occupants as well a really really safe car to be in. Another way that we can tell this BMW has been well looked after is the previous owner has supplied us with both the original keys and as you can see all the buttons on there are in excellent condition they're not worn out in any way and you've also got the spare template for the key there as well. You've also got the full genuine leather BMW book holder and inside here you'll find all the original documentation on everything from the owner's manual to the telephone manual and also the service booklet and everything in between. 
You'll also see, being the diesel BMW, the servicing is stretched out in between each interval. And this car has been well serviced, always at Brighton BMW. And as you can see, through to the last one here, only being done in March of 2013 at 86,000 Ks. So just recently been serviced all the way through at BMW, been really well cared for. Thank you very much again for your inquiry on our 2010 BMW X3 2 litre diesel. As you can see the car has been well looked after. A couple of key points to remember. Condition inside and out is immaculate. Good service history all at BMW. Long rego through till February and great tyres on all wheels. Please feel free to call us on 9907 0555 if you do have any further questions. Thanks again for watching.